What's up guys, welcome back to the page here. Uh, I know I had anticipated and kind of told everyone that I was gonna be doing this here for YouTube, but just wanted to kind of get this going and uh, ultimately making this a small little IGTV video. Uh, gonna be staying away from YouTube for a little bit uh, just because of the times and stuff like that and being a little bit hard to film all this stuff out and about. Um, just kind of wanna get it done and pretty much out to you guys here as soon as possible. So as you guys can already see, I have the uh, bed rack here from RCI. Uh, this is an RCI bed rack that I just recently put on here a few months ago and uh, anticipated to have a tent and stuff like that. And with COVID-19 affecting everybody, um, I wasn't able to get that tent here on time. So I do have the RCI rack that I, like I said, anticipated here to have a tent for and ultimately sold the camper. So let go of that camper kind of look and stuff like that. So um, when kind of getting into it, I just kind of want to do a little small review, something really quick for you guys. That way you guys can see what's going on with the build, how it's moving along and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, this is the RCI rack. Uh, this is a little 12 inch, I believe, or something like that. And uh, it's a pretty cool rack. Honestly, the most affordable, I want to say, in the market uh, for a full rack with kind of mounting points and stuff like that, which you can get very creative with. And as you guys see, I have some little, little X-Bowl mounts here that I recently put on there and a uh, big shout out to Ethan Rad Taco for letting me actually have those. Um, they're not the greatest of course, but they do the job. So I'm really excited to kind of have those mounted on there. And if anything hits the fan, of course we have them. So something very easy I mounted on with some little uh, three and a half inch long um, bolts. Uh, something you can find at Home Depot really fast and nuts and stuff like that with some washers and boom, we got it hooked on. So that wasn't too bad. Um, when kind of walking over here, I don't have anything crazy, but I do have an ax and shovel combo going on. Um, these guys are attached with and, uh, I'm sorry, not with, uh, through um, Quick Fist. Of course, these guys are great. Um, they're small little mounts, of course, that hold anything cylindrical or kind of handily kind of way and um for the most part they've been great so uh four of those of course very inexpensive um got them for i think uh 20 bucks so super cheap and again uh the way you mount these guys on there's a small little bolt that goes like right back here and of course mounts these guys on and grips on so those guys are pretty good uh something i typically only have on if i'm gonna go on a trip of course i just mounted them on for this little review uh, so you guys can take a quick peek at what I got. So very inexpensive uh, ax that I got from a hardware store and shovel from a hardware store. If you guys have any questions in regards to this, I forgot the name of the store. It's in, I believe the Inland Empire. I'll try and find out for you guys and uh, let you guys know, but it's a little 40 incher, nothing really too big. Um, actually the most used or at least I've used a uh, piece of recovery gear. Um, so definitely, definitely highly recommend you have a shovel so you can get out of a tough situation and an axe, of course, for all the camping wood and stuff like that, that you'll need to tear apart sometimes. So um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I had anticipated to have a little tent right up here on top. Um, it's still in the process. We're try still trying to figure that out, um, but we'll see what happens and stuff. And uh, ultimately, you know, keep adding onto the rack, but that's pretty much it. Something, like I said, very quick, I might be resulting or actually not resulting, I'm sorry coming over to IGTV to post these little videos and let you guys know this video is not sponsored. So these guys are not sponsoring me to do this stuff. It's just something to kind of let you guys know what's happening with the build. And moving forward, of course, I'll be taking more photos and showing you guys how I'm rocking it.